That was... Wow. Please don't suck. Greeks Comic Universe. It's me, Brian. I am back for a third time this week. Don't get used to that. This just so happens to be the situation this week. Uh, I did two. That's what you missed on because we're trying to do it a week before the new season premieres. Which, by the way, spoiler alert, you're going to get to see me one more time. This week. But anyway. This one, I originally wasn't going to do, but honestly, no one else in the team wanted it. I mean, if that's a little behind the scenes for you, uh, Justin was talking about it on his channel, and Jay and Zilla were kind of burnt out from the DC stuff, mainly Suicide Squad, which was a pre predecessor to this. But anyway, what is it that I'm talking about? So I decided to jump in, give my two cents, because if you watch Channel Chasers, I am the optimist of that duo, which is also the other half is Mr. J, in case you didn't know. But anyway, like I said, what am I here to talk about? The Birds of Prey trail, the latest one. And as the pre intro kind of alluded to, I actually really did enjoy it. But also, I really enjoyed the trailers for Suicide Squad. And... I liked that movie, but only liked. Like for my personalness, I'd probably give it like a 6.5, which is still above average, but not that great. Barely passing if you're going into like school grades. And that's just me, the optimist. But, Birds of Prey. When I heard about this, I was skeptic, especially with that long title, that emphasis on Harley Quinn. Even though Harley was not in the original Birds of Prey. And everyone thought that if they're giving Harley her own spinoff with a team, it should have been the Gotham City Sirens. Which it should have. But they're probably saving Catwoman for the R. Pats Batman movie. And Ivy, I don't know why they're not using her. They need to. But anyway, the trailer itself was good. It kind of had that old music feel that the Suicide Squad trailers had. And it was kind of absurd and gave us a little look into where Harley is mentally. And honestly, it kind of gave me vibes of like Logan meets Suicide Squad. I mean, Logan meets Guardians of the Galaxy. In the fact that it's misfits coming together who don't really want to come together but while protecting a young kid who the bad guy really wants and their chemistry together looks awesome um i wish we would have gotten to see more of um huntress Mary 
Elizabeth Winstead. But it was really cool. Uh, there were some parts that actually made me laugh. And the whole entire trailer gave me vibes of the that Kesha song. I'm a motherfucking woman. But anyway, it was really cool. I really liked it. We get to see that Harley's no longer with Joker, which thank Bob. Because Jared Leto's Joker is not so good. I liked her. Margot's Harley. But. I don't, know, don't think she was used the best way. And there were a few things that I did not particularly care for. One of which being. No costumes, it seems like. Maybe we'll get a Huntress costume, but that just looks very Matrix-esque. So that's kind of throwing me off. And the fact that it's so Harley-centric when it's called the Birds of Prey, and it's about the team... Also, a little part of me is irked that Batgirl isn't in this. But I think they're still hoping to give her her own solo movie, so. But yeah, I just really hope that this doesn't suck. And I am excited for it, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that it's hesitant excitement. And that, honestly, I'm excited for the next time we get to see Harley. More. Which is the Suicide Squad. James Gunn's reboot of Suicide Squad. Featuring a crap ton of really good actors. Including Idris Elba and Louis Capaldi. The doctor himself. But anyway. Uh, what did you guys think about the trailer? I know I didn't go into too much story, but I'm not used to reviewing trailers. Sorry, future me realized that I probably should talk about the plot, at least somewhat. And the plot seems to be that Black Mask wants, which, yay, um, Ewan McGregor, which that's another positive about this. We actually have a villain who is a villain. And not just the CGI mess that doesn't really have a memorable presence. I mean, it's freaking Obi-Wan, so of course he will have a presence. And he wants Cassandra Cain for some reason. But the girls form this misfit team to protect her and honestly themselves. And that'll be really cool to see the plot go down with the movie. It is a little bit weird to see Cassandra Cain quipping when she's mute in the comics. But hey, new universe, new rules, which is why I'm not getting upset with the fact that they have Renee Montoya there, and they're probably not going to go the question route with her. But back to your regularly scheduled review. But what did you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you excited? Are you burnt out like some of the other members of this team? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. So, thank, hope to see you again in the universe. Till next time, and beyond.